Here we have to create a split screen. I'm going to just use this one um, clip and we're going to start off with the, the clip at full screen um, and then as he spins round and starts to land the skateboard um, I'm going to create a split screen so it's going to jump to um, four versions of the same shot up on screen. Okay, So I'm going to use the blade tool first just to slice this clip um, at this particular point. So I've got one clip um, at the start and then it cuts um, and there's no break in the footage um, because it's cut in, in the same uh, piece of footage. Now when you see this red marker here between two bits of footage it's a through edit uh, marker so basically it means that the clip directly before the edit is exactly the same as the clip directly after the edit and the in point is right next to the out point, or the out point is right next to the in point. Okay, so it's kind of a seamless um, edit. So, in order to have a split screen, we need more than one video on one layer. So, I'm just going to use the Alt key or the Option key on the keyboard to duplicate this um, a few times. Okay, and I'm holding down the Alt key and dragging, and then just before I let go, I'm uh, letting go of Alt first, then letting go of the mouse to actually duplicate these clips. Okay. So we've got four clips um, exactly the same up on screen and there are a few different ways in which we can uh, make a split screen. One is to rescale those clips and the other one is to crop them and rescale them so we can kind of put different parts of that clip um, in different parts of the, the screen. So basically I'm going to take this uh, top clip and just rescale it and put it up to the top left. So I'm going to do this by coming up to the canvas and going to image and wireframe and then just rescaling this. Now we can get kind of numerically accurate with this um, by going into the um, properties of this video but for the moment we're just going to kind of throw this around and um, see what we get. So we can pull that up to the top left of the screen. Okay, and I'm going to lock that layer off so that it's uh, not going to get affected after this. Um, and then for the second clip I'm actually going to crop it and then move it so it um, does something slightly different. So if I double click on this clip and come to the motion properties, here I have a crop options and I can basically crop um, this video. So I'm going to crop from the left. Just going to turn off these video tracks so we can see um, what's happening. So crop from the left and crop from the right and the top and the bottom. Okay, so it's kind of framed around that skateboarder. It stays pretty much in shot. And then again, I can take this and scale him and put him up at the top right there. So that'll do for this dude. And then for the next clip down, I'll do something similar. So I'm going to take that clip, double click on it, and then crop it from the top. And I'm actually going to do a really tight crop on this one. I'll just turn this uh, layer off so I can see what I'm doing. And then from the left, and then again, I'll just rescale this guy so I get these kind of different effects of the different layers kind of zoomed in on one another. And then we'll just whoops, move this last layer down, and I'm just going to keep that at the original scale. Okay. And you can see I can just click and select these layers when they're unlocked. Just basically want to fill the screen with all of this. Okay? So we basically cut from a single shot um, of this skateboarder and then as he drops the the board onto the ground it's going to jump to this split screen of um, several different um, skateboarders. So we get this kind of effect. Okay. So that's how to create a split screen with some 
different ideas for how you can crop and scale um, the footage. Okay, um, and if you want to get kind of numerically accurate and actually make sure your cropping is um, done um, just right, then you want to start to actually figure out what percentage of the scale you want to move things in. Um, and you probably need to incorporate some math into that process as well.